Hey guys, it's me Fiona and welcome to my channel. I used to do makeup like years ago for fun on YouTube. And this is... Let's try this again. Hey guys, it's me Fiona. Thank you for coming to my channel. This is my very first video. This makeup look was inspired by Jimi Hendrix's song, Little Wing. I absolutely love that song. He's one of my favorite artists ever. Basically, Little Wing is about a music festival Jimi performed at. And um, it's basically him like just putting it into a purse and like a curl. You know, back then, psychedelics, everything. Everything was a little crazy, hence my face. But it was all in tune with the earth, nature, music, feeling the energy in the vibes. And I live for that. So yeah, this is my makeup look. And please keep watching if you want to see how to get this. Hey, so we're going to hop right into the eyebrows. I'm brushing my eyebrows up and then I'm taking glue. I'm sure many of you guys know the eyebrow removal technique. So I'm brushing it out to brush out the glue. I saw that in a video once. It's actually very helpful. Helpful. Sorry, I can't talk. My eyebrows are crazy right now because, you know, quarantine's a thing. I can't get them done and I've been trying to do them myself, but I just can't do them myself. So they like kind of scatter. And yeah, I'm just taking a translucent powder and placing that on. And then I'm using a Tarte concealer and just buffing that out with a beauty blender, you know? And then I'm filling in the brow, the little brow we have left over with the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I believe the shade is Ebony. Now we're carving out the brow, the little triangle we have left, and just buffing that all out. Okay, starting with a pink matte lip with lipstick. This is from Too Faced. It's just very pigmented, so it's easy to sketch out the idea. I'm forming the body of a hummingbird. I'm just referencing my other eyebrow that I had already done prior, and also a photo of a hummingbird, just to encapsulate that image, I guess. And then I'm kind of just looking at the picture and just basing my color patterns off of that. I'm using shimmers, mattes, I'm trying to use cooler tones because they tend to have cooler tones on them. However, underneath their like neck chin area, they always have some like bright reds and yellows I've noticed. So I add that to it as well. And I'm outlining it with liquid eyeliner. I'm using e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, my all time favorite eyeliner. We'll never use any other form of liquid eyeliner. And I'm just sketching out the lines and details of the bird. And then on the bottom stomach, it's also like a lot lighter with most animals, so I shimmered it up a bit. Okay, moving on to the flower portion. Let me tell you, it took two hours. Not, I know that's an exaggeration. Probably like an hour just to come up with the flower. I kept drawing things on my eye, hated it, and then washed it off and then started over again. So yeah, I'm happy I got like something down, but I actually like how it turned out. It kind of like... It gave me 60s vibes, whatever. Anyways, so we're drawing the flower shape using the same liquid matte um, lipstick. A lot easier to just like see, like I said. I'm buffing it out. The flower is going to be based off a of color. And once again, your preference on colors. This rewatching it, my eye looks like Harry Styles' new album but I love it and that makes it even better. Um, so I'm adding concealer to the middle part of the petal just to lighten it up and add dimension because I felt like it was really dark. And I'm shimmering it up too because who doesn't want shimmer in their life? And just adding layers, just do it by eye mainly. And then like we did with um, the hummingbird, we're outlining our eye with black eyeliner and you can get creative with this too. Um, I 
thickened it up a bit because I thought that it looked more bold and I outlined each petal and then I also put a line between each little petal we had and added a triangle at the end. I thought it was just a cute design, but really you could do whatever you want to the petals. Leaving an eyeliner mess on our eyelid, I wiped it off with a makeup wipe and I went over it with concealer because the yellow I have, it's just not it's just not it. It's not very pigmented. But I applied it onto the lid and I'm trying to like make it as vibrant as I possibly can. And I'm also taking some um, burnt orange from my modern renaissance palette because it's one of my favorite colors ever. And then we're just lining our top lids, making that look even and cute. That little 60s music festival vibe, you know, bright colors, psychedelics, all that stuff. Finishing up, I'm just concealing under my eyes. Um, I don't really wear a whole lot of like full face makeup, I guess. I don't wear foundation because it's just like so bad for my skin. It doesn't work. But um, I do conceal, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm loading it on. I guess you could say it's like a foundation because I put it on pretty much all of my face, but it's just a lot thinner, so I like that. And then I'm applying some powder to my face to set that all in stone. I hope you guys enjoy all the faces I make, and yeah, my arm was so dirty by the end of this, I just wiping brushes on my arm. I'm going under my eye with some green to add a nice shadow to it. And then I decided I was going to do something fun. So flowers need leaves, right? So that's exactly what we did. We drew in some leaves under our eyes. Once again, you can do whatever you want with the leaves, whatever pattern you want. Um, I didn't do symmetry for the leaves on my eyes just because I had everything else pretty much the same, just different colors. So I wanted the leaves to just be completely like different. So I drew different designs of the leaves and I actually really, really liked how that came out. for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it as my um first youtube video back let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um i would love more recommendations for looks if you guys have any ideas you'd like to see or see something me attempt or recreate or something like that but that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it. and until next time i'll see you guys later bye